What's going on everybody? This is Popular Stranger and I'm back with episode number two of my NCAA 13 Dynasty with Tulsa. If you missed the first episode, I have created a playlist. You can go back and check every episode up to date in this series by clicking that playlist down below. And also guys, don't forget to check me out on Twitter. Speaking of Twitter, now that I just mentioned that, uh, I contacted Cody Green on Twitter. Kind of like what Mr. Well, I don't think Mr. Hurricane actually contacted those guys from uh, the team from his dynasty, but that was that was pretty cool how they made him a, a a video, you know, saying that they saw his dynasty and and they appreciate the support. But I did send uh, Cody Green a tweet on Twitter and told him to check out the video, and he watched it and he liked it. I don't think he liked that pass he just threw right there though, because we start in the game off with a horrible, horrible interception. Um, so this this is week two or game two of the season and uh it's against Tulane which is a conference game kind of strange that they start conference play so early in the week or early in the year I should say this is only week number two uh not a very good rated team and uh coming off a pretty good win against Syracuse I don't recall the score but you know they're probably a uh a better team than Tulane is and a huge game uh, ahead of us. Nice little fake punt there. Uh, but a huge game the week before this week. So I really was hoping that my players would not, uh, you know, lose focus of what they need to get done. Because we do have number 13, Kansas State, next week coming, coming to Tulsa uh, for our first ranked challenge. And then again, I, I probably mentioned it. But uh, later on down in the season, I believe week 10, we're going to go against Arkansas, um, who's a top 10 team. I believe they started the season at number 7. I really don't remember what rank they are now. Um, because I've played, uh, I've played already week 5 in this franchise, or this dynasty, I'm sorry. So I keep getting ahead of myself. I really, really enjoy playing this. Um, I said I was going to start in Nebraska. A Nebraska dynasty just to play on my own and I still haven't done that but I really think I need to now because uh, and I just need something to stop me from playing you know playing this dynasty and getting too far ahead you know I've recorded every episode that was a really nice throw right there by Cody Green um, I've recorded every episode you know so far so it's not like you guys are gonna be missing anything but um, I don't want to keep recording so far ahead that I kind of forget things that happen like in this game for instance because you know if you play it record it and then upload it it's still kind of fresh in your memory so you can really recall you know everything that happened or, or the majority of the things that happened so got a 7-7 game here uh, still the first quarter and uh, the defense who played really well against Syracuse is just going to, uh, they're going to start playing very well again. And again, this isn't a very good team, um, but no pressure on the quarterback. But luckily we get an interception there and uh, take this one to the house, which would ultimately give us that 14-7 to lead. Um, shout outs to all you guys who tried to watch the live stream. I attempted failure at a live stream. There's a nice user pick by me. Um, I was pretty happy. Like I said, it seems really easy to get, not easy, but it just seems easier to get user picks uh, against the computer rather than online. And I don't think it's because of the talent level, because um, the computer is tough on Heisman difficulty, at least in my opinion. It just, I don't know, everything seems to move more fluid offline, which I guess makes sense because you're going to, you know, you're not going to have any lag or anything like that. Um, but yeah, shout out to everybody who tried to watch all my fails at, at live streaming through YouTube. Uh, a lot of people keep suggesting try it through Twitch. I think I will tomorrow, probably tomorrow morning. So 
Um, I'll make an announcement on my YouTube channel, you know, if I'm going to live stream through Twitch and have a, a link for you and all that. But I honestly don't think it was because of YouTube. I really just think my computer just can't keep up with live streaming. Which is, it's kind of strange because um, you would think that if it's able to record these videos and render them in high definition, it should be able to, you know, do the live stream. But I, I don't know. It's either my memory, um, you know, I don't have a lot of RAM on this computer, or it could just be the video card. Uh, within the next month or so, I do plan on getting a new laptop. This computer here is a desktop. I've had it for a while. Um, but I, I do think I plan on getting a new laptop soon. And I mean, most laptops nowadays come, ar come with around 4 gigs of RAM, so uh, I should be okay with that. Um, so, you know, I really do want to start trying to do some type of live stream, but if my computer is not going to allow it, then I won't be able to. But again, I'll give Twitch a try tomorrow and see if we get any different results. And uh, if so, we'll probably stream some, some NCAA football. Maybe I'll start my Nebraska Dynasty during a live stream or something. I don't know. We'll see. I really need to start. Maybe I'll live stream some Marlins gameplay because I know you guys all want to see that, and I need to start playing because I haven't really played any game since the last episode so um, paying attention to the video here still a 14 to 7 game uh, I, I know these videos there's another interception defense playing really well and uh, I can't remember but yes I believe he's gonna take this one to the house as well so the defense has more points than the offense at this point 21 to 7 still in the first half um, I did make these the quarters in, in this dynasty uh, seven minutes long and it's actually been very good as far as like a simulation style where th my scores are starting to come out you know reasonable scores I really didn't I didn't want my my stats and scores to look either you know over boosted or you know not as good like for instance when you play a lot of times when you play uh, basketball games unless you set the quarter length to like 10 minutes your games end up in the 50s and 60s and 70s which is not you know not right and um, I don't know it's just hard to get a good estimate but I, I think seven minute quarters against the computers came out good I'm not you know I'm not scoring 50 points every game uh, but I am, you know, scoring in the in the yards, you know, for each individual player. You know, they kind of reflect like a real-life game. So I'm happy with seven minutes. The only problem is it, it can make these videos extremely long. So I hope you guys don't mind. You know, this is another 11-minute video. I thought the first one would really just be... Um, I, I thought it was so... The video came out so long because I showed you me setting up the Dynasty and uh, all that stuff but you know this one turned out to be just as long and uh, I can tell you next week's will probably be another or next episode because it won't be next week it'll be sooner than next week but I can tell you uh, next episode uh, nice touchdown there by Crabtree he seems to be my favorite receiver so far uh, but yeah I can tell you the next episode will probably be another lengthy video um, I, I, I want to spoil it for you guys, kind of, but I'm not gonna, but, um, yeah, it, it's a really, really good game against Kansas State, that's all I can say, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to editing that one and kind of reliving the game, uh, while I edit it, because, you know, I played it last week and it's not fresh in my memory. We got a studio update here, and look at that upset, number two LSU goes down to Washington. Oh, actually, no, they didn't go down. Is that only the second quarter? My bad. But, yeah, they do end up losing. I don't think you'll see another studio uh, update in this gameplay. So, yeah, LSU ends up losing. I don't know if it's just my dynasty so far, but for those of you who've played dynasties, um, have you noticed there's a ton of upsets? Because it really seems like that on my end. Like, every week a top five team is losing. Which, I guess it makes it cool for the game or whatever, but... I mean, I don't think it's that realistic, but, you know, no big deal. I just, I noticed that. There's a cheap touchdown that I did not want to give up. 31-13 uh, to 13 at this point. They're going to go for the onside, and um, they get it. Yeah, I remember they got it, and I was thinking, if this team comes back, I may snap my game in half. Um, so, uh, one other update. The off or the online franchise that I'm doing with Northwestern with a bunch of YouTube guys, 
We are now in week number two. Uh, still, have, you know, I played Syracuse the first game, and then I just beat Vanderbilt over the weekend. I really don't recall the score. Defense comes up with another takeaway there, but I'm 2-0 in my online dynasty. I'll probably record the first game when I go against an actual, uh, you know, or actual person rather than the computer. Um, so we'll see. Look forward to that. And again, I might start up that Nebraska, uh, that Nebraska offline dynasty for my own personal reasons. And, and I'll eventually maybe share some of it with you. But we get the victory, first conference win of the season against Tulane, 31 to 13. And uh, again, next week's game uh, is going against Kansas State, top 15 team. It's a really exciting game. I can't wait to bring it to you guys. Don't forget to leave a rating. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you're still here, I do appreciate it. And um, yeah, that's it. My name is Popular Stranger, guys. I am out. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. For a little bit more than they would have liked, but it's still a nice win.